Hi guys, welcome back to Mad About Designs. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this wooden lamp using Autodesk Fusion 360 and how to render this into this. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to File and select New Design. Create new sketch, select the front plane, draw one two point rectangle. So go to rectangle and select two point rectangle, draw it here of dimension 5 cm by 0.5 cm. Press enter. Draw one horizontal line through the origin. Select this line and make it construction. Now go to sketch dimension. Select this line and this line. Make the distance between them as 9 cm. Press enter. Now I want to mirror this rectangle with respect to this line. So go to sketch. Select the option mirror. Select this rectangle. Enter the mirror line. Select this line. Press OK. Now I want to draw one profile here. So select option line. Draw a vertical line of 3 cm, another line at an angle of 45 degree of length 1 cm, now one vertical line of 0.5 cm, again at, at an angle of 45 degree and length 1 cm and draw a horizontal line here. Now select the option 3 point arc. In arc, go to 3 point arc, draw one arc from here to here and make it tangent with this line. Go to fillet, select this corner and fillet it up to 0.25 cm. Here is my profile ready. Now stop sketch. Go to create, select the option revolve. For profiles, select these profiles 1, 2, 3, and for axis, select this green vertical axis and press OK. Now select this plane and go to create, create one cylinder here. Set this origin as the center of the cylinder and the diameter of the cylinder 2 cm and the height is 18 cm. Operation new body. Ok. Now draw another sketch. Select the front line. Draw one rectangle, two point rectangle. Here to the dimension is 5 by 22. Press enter. Go to sketch dimension. Select this line and the origin and it means the distance between them as 3 cm. And this origin and this line, the distance is 11 cm. Now go to fillet, fillet these two corners up to 3 cm, press center. Stop sketch, go to extrude, extrude this profile, direction, symmetry, distance, 0.1 cm and operation, new body, press ok. Now go to modify and select the option combine. I want to cut out this portion from this body. So go to combine and as target body select this body. Tool body this one. Operation cut and check the option keep tools. Press ok. I will do the same thing for this body. So go to modify combine 
target body and its S tool body select this body keep tools okay operation cut press okay now select the edges of this body so go to modify select the option fillet make it rule fillet and select these two faces and for radius type 0.1 centimeter press okay now hide this body body 4 now i want to pattern this cut features along the sides of these two bodies so go to pattern and select circular pattern pattern type feature select objects as this one and this one and for the axis, select this cylinder. Number of quantity, 25. And compute option is optimized. Press OK. Now, show the body. I also want to pattern this body in circularly. So go to create, pattern, circular pattern. Pattern type bodies, select this body for the axis, this cylinder. Number of quantities 25. Press OK. So here is my wooden lamp ready. Now assign some colors to it. So press A for appearance. Go to wood solid and finished. Assign this 3D ash glossy to all the bodies here. So I'll drag it and drop it here on the bodies. Now I want to make the upper and this lower body black. So select the color 3D walnut glossy and drop it on this body and this body. And make the lamp go to miscellaneous emissive and bulb frosted. 150 ln and drop it here. Now go to render. Make some adjustments. Screen setting. Set the brightness to 350. Background a little bit darker. Focal length 95 close and put this on blender the rendering speed depends on the specification of your computer and after rendering for one hour here is the final result thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button this will help a lot and don't forget to share and subscribe to mad about designs for new tutorials on autodesk fusion 360 see you in the next video till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye